That's right, Steve. I actually had the chance to sit and down and speak with some of them, along with some of the other attendees at today's service. And they have said that not only were they able to appreciate the warmer weather, but they were also appreciative to see their loved ones honored in the traditions they've all grown up on. Pierce County honored servicemen and women who gave their all for their country. That freedom we enjoy. Today's Memorial Day service included officials, veterans, and friends and loved ones of those who answered the call. The service held special value for some because it put into perspective just how valuable time can be. These people that lost their loved ones, they know now that time is precious, the life is precious. What time we have here is precious. So we need to remember those that have passed on before us and, and carry on their legacy. God bless America. The service is also a reminder that life is slowly getting back to what we all remember. Last year, of course, we weren't able to, to have this. So, of course, it was a letdown for the staff and for the community. So I know everybody wants to have just a little bit of normalcy back. As the service kicked off, one of the main was concerns was keeping COVID-19 at bay, a concern many event planners are sharing today. Overall, Pierce County seems to be on top of things. Last Friday, the county's 14-day case rate per 100,000 people for May 6th to the 19th was 240, a decrease of around 22 percent from the week before. And as Washington opens up, attendees say it's vital for people to remember those who continue to make the freedoms we enjoy possible. Now that we're all free to move about and do things, we need to remember those who have passed during service and after service because they're still serving in some capacity in their life. Now, although cases going down and vaccinations going up is good news, health officials here in Pierce County are still encouraging people to stay safe from COVID-19, which means maintaining those prevention protocols, such as wearing a mask and avoiding large crowds if you can help it, in order to make sure that no bad news ruins these sunny days. For now, we're live in Lakewood, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.